story time of how my diagnosis of Gilbert's disease led me to move in with my husband. Just a little background, a few days ago I made a video explaining why I sometimes have yellow eyes and I found out that I had Gilbert's disease when I was in residency. It's a commonly inherited condition where your body doesn't process bilirubin, so during times of stress, I sometimes will get a little yellowish tint to my skin and a yellowish tint to my eyes. So some of you guys have picked up on that intermittently in my videos, and, but let's talk about how I found out I even had this problem. So throughout childhood, high school, college, and residency, I would intermittently have some right upper quadrant pain, particularly if I ate fatty foods, and it went away, never really thought about it, but every now and again, I would have some pretty bad abdominal pain. And one time in residency, it got so severe that I could not even walk. I was on a 24 hour shift, it was about 3 a.m., and the pain became so intense, I was literally buckled over with pain and had to go to the emergency room myself. They did some laboratory work and ultrasound, and I was diagnosed with cholecystitis, which is inflammation from gallstones in your gallbladder. One of the labs that they checked is a bilirubin level, and my bilirubin was quite high, so I was scheduled the following day to have my gallbladder removed. I had just completed a 24-hour shift, and I was still operating because this was before the 80-hour work week. This was about... 12 in the afternoon. Never forget, I was doing a craniotomy with my chairman at Duke, removing a complicated brain tumor, and I got the phone call from the general surgeon who said, I need to come in for surgery that day. So I looked at my attending and I said, I'm told that I have to go in and have surgery on my gallbladder. And well, let's just say he wasn't very happy about it. Been NPO since really almost 24 hours because I couldn't eat or drink because of the severe pain. I went to this other hospital where my surgeon was to have the surgery and I should have known this but as a surgery resident I just kind of forgot but in order to have surgery you have to have someone there to take you home. I had no family that lived up there and really the only person that I had there was my boyfriend at the time Ray. So I called him and I said hey they won't let me have my surgery unless someone is here to take me home. So he drove over left work and came over to the hospital to take me home after my gallbladder was removed. We had been dating for a few months and he had spent the night over at my house. I had spent the night over at his house at times, but I never really stayed for a very prolonged period of time. He asked me to come over to help me recover from my own surgery. So in a little fun fact, I had to go to work the very next day after my surgery. He wanted to make sure that I was okay. So I drove back and forth from work to his house for several days at a time. After spending many days together, we realized that we actually got along pretty well. So a week later, he asked me to move in. This was before we got engaged, so if you're a very traditional person, this may be seen as a little controversial, but I will say that in order to get to know somebody to see if you're compatible, I highly recommend that you move in together to make sure it's gonna work and don't figure that out too late. After moving in and spending a few more weeks with him, I knew that that was a fact, so I listed my house on the market and sold my condo in Durham and lived with him in Raleigh before we got engaged and eventually got married. But I still didn't tell you how I found out I had Gilbert syndrome. After you have your gallbladder removed, they periodically check bilirubin levels, and my bilirubin level never came back down to normal. So I had an extensive workup, including MRCPs and other testing, and they found some narrowing in my bile duct, and they actually thought that I had some bile duct cancer. That all turned out to be okay, and they diagnosed me with Gilbert syndrome because in those patients, your bilirubin level can fluctuate tremendously depending on your stress. So that's a story of how my gallbladder surgery and diagnosis of Gilbert syndrome led me to move in with my husband.